So Dream Doll drops a diss track at Tory Lanez. And for everybody that tells me I don't know what I'm talking about because they busy jacking that Don Q, uh, the two the two tracks that Don Q did, and I'm like, I don't think he won. I think actually he did bad. Not that the songs are bad, but in this particular situation, those beats weren't going to help him. He needed different types of beats, and he couldn't. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. So for everybody that is upset at me because I'm saying Don Q did not win the uh, interaction, the, the 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 confrontation with Tory Lanez, that's crazy. When a female, who as far as I know isn't even a rapper, comes out and makes a bigger impression. Go figure. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Hey, don't forget to check out the link of the day in the description. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I so yeah. So Tory Lanez has been calling out everybody, and it seems that the person who he did not even call out has been the one to actually drop the best diss rap against him. With the exception of my song, because I, I don't think Tory is going to respond back to my song. He don't want those problems. But <laughs> Dream Doll has decided, hold on for a second. I just want to clear this up. I have no idea why there's so many dolls out there now. But can somebody leave this in the description? It's like 90% of them were or are strippers. Like, are these strippers that just... So that's like the tagline. You know, you're stripping, you 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 up your game, so now you're a doll. Anyway, I don't know. Anyway, no disrespect to strippers and no disrespect to dolls. I just have no idea. Anyway, so... She has some extremely, in my opinion scathing lines and the whole entire track only has one negative thing about it in my opinion one negative thing about the whole entire track in my opinion and that's that um the beat has i put that p-u-s-s-y on your head and at times when it drops in you can't hear her vocals and she's going in shout out the dream doll all right so there's a line that she says where she says, there's a line where she says, <laughs> hold on. Okay. Okay. There's a line where she says that basically Tory Lanez is the only dude that she has ever had sex with that wanted to do a threesome. But with another dude. I mean, I think she's. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you why that's so slick. I'm gonna tell you why that line is slick. Um. Okay, so Don Q had a whole bunch of slick lines, all right. But when you have double entendres, it just is much more meaningful to me. And when you're somebody who I don't even know for rapping. I don't know if she wrote this or somebody else wrote this. I'm assuming somebody else wrote this shit. Let's just be clear on that. I'm not taking nothing away from her if somebody else wrote it. It is what it is. But let's just let's just be clear on that. She basically is called Do Gay. I mean, later on, she's way more flagrant with it. But she just called Tory Lanez gay. Get it? He wanted to do a threesome, but with another dude. Why? You want to watch a dude? I'm trying to not curse y'all. That's why I came out like that. I get flagged for everything over here on YouTube. 
So um, that was something. That was that was. Uh, she was just snapping. She was going hard, and then she brought up a dope point. A really, really dope point. Okay, first she wanted people to know, I guess, that, you know, she ain't never sleep with Don. So she like, yo, like, that's my bro. Like, how you even, like, what the hell is up with that? That's my bro. Why are you going to tell people that I'm sleeping with Don? Like, why are you even going to put that out there? Why are you going to try to put bodies on me? Now, with that being said, that's the same problem that I have when people were saying that, um, shout out to Shadi. Shout out to Sarah. Shout out to Takashi. But that's what the same problem I have when people say that Shadi slept with Sarah, Takashi's baby mama. Why y'all putting bodies on her like that? Like, why? Y'all don't know? You understand what I'm saying? Let's have somebody come out and say something. You know what I'm saying? You can't just, like, you know, don't just say that. You understand what I'm saying? They, about nobody. We're not trying to do that to the women out here. We're not just trying to say just, you know, the women out here sleeping around like that. Like, stop doing that. You understand what I'm saying? Especially the guys that want to do that. Like, stop doing that. Um, so she says she didn't sleep with Don Q. And then she brought up the best point of the whole entire rap to me. Like, what the hell was wrong with a woman, you know, giving it to somebody because she digging them? She met, and she said it more than once in the rap. She she met Tory Lane. She was filling them, and she wanted them. She wanted to get with him. What in the hell was wrong with that? So, um, I think that, I mean, obviously, uh, Don Q had just bars on bars. Let's not get it confused. And he's an actual rapper. But, um, I think this particular rap that, uh, Dream Girl, Dream Doll put out is just way more scathing than anything that Don Q put out. And on top of that, she did kind of have that little Kim vibe, keeping it a buck. She kind of had that little Kim vibe. And I haven't felt that vibe in a long time from a female. Like, does she really rap? Like, this is her, like, where the hell did this song even come from? Like, I've, I've not felt that little Kim vibe. Like, even when Nicki Minaj came out, Nicki Minaj had her own stuff. She had her own vibe. When Cardi B came out, Cardi B had her own vibe. You understand what I'm saying? I haven't felt this type of vibe. No, she really did have that, like, that little Kim vibe going. That's a fact. That's a fact. At least that's my opinion. Let me know what y'all guys think about it. Uh, leave it down in the comment section. Yo, the, the song is going to be in the... In the um, I have a link in the description for the song. Yo, but let me know what y'all guys think about this. I think she I think she snapped. And she just like this shit is she went hard. And and uh I think Tory Lanez is gonna fall victim to calling out too many people. Because see, this is what happens when you when you're making a diss track against people and you start naming other people to try to make their boss seem harder. Now you name naming other people, and now you're making other people have problems with you when it was not really even necessary. You understand what I'm saying? That's why sometimes people don't call shit out. That's why sometimes you, you write a line and you be like, you know what? I'm just going to let that one go. i think of another one. But you know, whatever, man. It is what it is. Do you. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombs. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.
Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then.